Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryamiga back with a new Minecraft video. Many people requested me to build an Enderman XP farm. So in today's guide, I will show you guys a very easy to set up Enderman XP farm, which will get you to level 30 in no time. Of course, with this Enderman farm, you will also find tons and tons of Ender Pearls. And the cool thing is, unlike most Enderman XP farms, this one is actually very material friendly and most importantly, very safe to build in survival. By the way, I'm currently running Java 1.16.4. It also works for the current Bedrock Edition and will update the title for future versions. Also, a big thanks to Chapman. I found a very awesome idea on his channel to make this farm even more efficient. So if you like this video, definitely make sure to check out his channel. All right, so guys, that's it for the intro. Let's build that XP farm. So the very basic materials that you're going to need for this build, the essentials pretty much are nine slabs, six types of leaves, then also three solid blocks. Really doesn't matter which ones you take. Also a name tag, a rail, and a minecart for the endermite. Then also six trapdoors. By the way, if you were playing on bedrock, you're going to need six buttons instead. So definitely make sure to write that down. Also a chest, six hoppers, one weather bucket, four torches or less even, and then also 42 letters. So you will be able to get back up to the surface without a problem. And of course, to spawn in the Endermite, we're going to need quite some of these as well. When we're done with the basics of this build, we're also going to do some upgrades to make it even more efficient. For that, we're going to need four more mind cards, four more name tags, also some more solid blocks. Uh, these two are actually optional as well as the torches. I think we even need less, but um, that is pretty much everything everything you need guys. What you're gonna do is search for the center of this island. You can of course also go to another end island but really I really don't think that is necessary because you will already find many endermen on this place. So what we're gonna do is stand near the portal if you press F3 or just open up your coordinates, you can see that it is already on a pretty high Y level. And this is also the thickest area in the island. So you will have a chance of making a drop shaft that takes almost all the lives away from the Enderman. So you can pretty much take them down in only one hit. So right now we're just going to walk away a couple blocks away from the end portal. Let's say uh, this is a good place. You just don't want to stand too close because otherwise the water of your farm will flow in there. And now uh, we're going to place down three solid blocks and then three times leaves. And um, actually right now we want to use a block that I forgot to take with me, which uh, are these spruce planks. So we're going to place three on top of that so we can tr create the tracks. First, we're going to place some trapdoors exactly like so. Uh, by the way, if you are on bedrock, you want to have uh, buttons instead. That will do the trick. And right now, we're going to dig three holes right here and another three. So you have a little drop shaft of three by two, let's say. And on the exact opposite side of this drop shaft, you're going to place three more trapdoors. So one, two, three. You're also going to open or close them up, whatever you want to call it. And on the exact opposite side of this uh, little drop shaft area, you're going to count one, two, three, four blocks from the middle. Fifth one, you're going to place your water. And this will create a pretty awesome flow that will prevent Endermen from going to the rear of your place when they see the Endermite. So they will always walk around this and they will jump inside this drop shaft. But now, of course, it is time to place our Endermite. So what we're going to do is place some temporary blocks. We will remove these later on. And I recommend you guys to box in this area because otherwise the Enderman might be able to see you and uh, they might also be able to see the Endermite. And especially that is going to be a problem because uh, things are going to become pretty funky then. So um, that's a wall of too high. Right now we are pretty much safe from harm. Um, I also recommend you guys to take your food with you because man oh man, just gonna organize my inventory a little bit right here. I don't really think you need this many, but sometimes you can be a little bit unlucky. So what we're gonna do is place our rails exactly right here. And uh, of course you can also place two blocks right there. We only need an area of two wide, let's say. And uh, right now we're just going to start throwing the ender pearls. So that was already our first tag. Time to eat some dinner right now. But seriously, guys, it would be very much appreciated if you can just hit that like button for a second because it helps me out a lot. And of course, also other people that are looking for a farm like this. 
Ah, there we have him. After almost three full stacks, I'm going to call this guy 2020 because, oh man, he's been horrible for me. But um, right now, you're just going to place your minecart right here and you're going to push him in. And voila, that is everything you have to do right now. This guy is ready to be seen by Enderman. So right now, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, the center block, this one, contains the Endermite with the minecart. But um, right now, I am not going to remove this case. We're first going to complete the drop shaft right here. I'm just going to do a 180 degrees rotation right here and walk to this side. I'm going to press my coordinates or F3. And I'm going to say make another shaft right here on uh, Z level 12. So I'm going to remember this coordination 12. This is going to be the place where I'm going to use my letters to get back up to the surface. But um, right now we are going to start digging our drop shaft. For this, I actually have a pretty nice tactic for survival so you won't be able to fall all the way down. So what you're going to do is stand exactly in the middle of these four blocks because if you remove one block, you won't fall down. If you remove the second, you won't fall down. And uh, this applies for pretty much all the blocks. But these guys, oh, they're going to make it a little bit annoying because they're also going to um, join me with this. And I really don't want that to happen. Close your eyes, guys. This is going to be a murder. Actually, did a lot of testing. I did like 15 to 20 different end generations. And I never was able to actually fall through the void uh, when I was mining this shaft. But um, if you want to double check, guys, you can always use that tactic. Stand exactly in the middle. So if you dig away one block, you can see that if there is void. So uh, right now we're going to dig down 43 blocks in total. So we were on the Y level 65. So we're going to dig all the way down to 22 because uh, this will be the place where we're going to place down our hoppers so we can sort the items a little bit into the chests. So here we are, 22. Normally you don't have these blocking your site. So let's uh, just open them up once again. So right now, when you look up, you know that that is the site where we have our Endermite trapped. So on the exact opposite side, we will have our place where we wanted to make the ladder to go up and down again and again. So uh, we're just going to dig to level 12 right now. And this is going to be where we are going to place our ladders. Right now, the place is a little bit claustrophobic though. So I am going to uh, dig away some more blocks. All right, so this is going to be the final place. I'm actually going to not dig out these three blocks because they will prevent the enderman from hitting me. So we have exactly one wall right here. And um, on this particular spot, we can uh, make our chest. So I'm going to place it right here. We're also going to take our hoppers and our slabs. So uh, let's get rid of my bow right here. Uh, first off, the chest, of course, and then we're going to lead the hoppers into it. So right now you're going to crouch, click your chest, so you will be able to see that it directs right into the chest. If you place another one right here, positioning towards that one, it will also um, give all its ender pearls to the maid hopper, and uh, you can do that for every single one of them. So right now, all the hoppers are leading into this main chest. Of course, you can expand this area with more chests so you can place them on the side so you can divide the loot. But really, you don't need that many inner pearls. And then I'm going to place slabs on top of these so uh, we can cover them nicely. And then every time when the endermen fall all the way down here, they will have one HP. So right now, this place looks pretty basic. You can also use your torches right now to um, make this a little bit lighter and also prevent enemy mobs from spawning. So we have our Endermite trapped inside this place. Let me take some temporary blocks. I'm going to place them right here. One, two, three, four, five. So uh, let's get rid of these two blocks and do a one, two, three. And I'm going to get rid of these three walls. And right now, as you can see, the Endermen are getting mad. They are super angry. And uh, of course, they really don't want to see 2020 popping up again. So what they're going to do is try to take him down. And right now, he is pretty much safe from harm. All these Endermen will keep charging in. Uh, let me just clean up the mess right here. But um, you can tell that they all jump down and they are just waiting to be killed right now with very low HP. And also walking around this water pond, I'm also going to... Get rid of this uh, wooden block. I'm going to replace it with some leaves because uh, this is also a transparent block. So the Enderman will be able to see it 
from the sides as well. So if they're standing on a lower level, they can just see through the might guard. And look at that, the enemy from the distance right there are also charging towards the trap. So this one is fully functional right now. Let me also uh, get back to the trap, guys. I'm just going to continue mining my drop shaft right here where we will place our ladder a little bit later on and uh, you can tell that these guys are just waiting for me nicely so that's pretty much it for the basics guys right now we're gonna make this farm like four to five times more efficient we're gonna lure in so many more endermen and this is only gonna take a couple more minutes so i farmed some more materials right here i've got four mind cards four name tags can't touch this also a rail, of course, and many ender pearls to spawn in the endermites. And um, yes, the slabs are not really necessary, but I just like to place them on top of the endermite card because this allows you to pretty much indicate that there is something that people really don't want to knock off it. And of course, some leaves that will prevent mob spawning onto the mine card rail with the endermites. So we keep seeing these endermen walking from every single direction. But um, those guys in the distance, they are not really getting triggered. Why? Well, because this has a detection radius of 64. So the Endermen are currently just too far away to actually see the Endermite. So uh, it would be wise to put even more of those Endermite lures at every corner of this island. So we're going to place one right there, let's say, one right there. And then we're going to place one around those parts and then right below me. So um, this far will become a lot more efficient. So right now I'm going to set my very first trap right here. It's two blocks below the center lure, let's say. So don't go too low, guys, because otherwise, for example, if you're standing right here with your trap, well, you won't be able to see the Endermite yourself. So then it's going to be way more difficult to lure in the Enderman as well. So uh, I'm going to stand right here. We're going to make a tower of one two, three, and then the fourth one is going to be a spruce leaf. And this will be the block where we will place down our minecart. Also box this in. And right now we can place down the minecart and the rail, or well, first rail, of course, spawn in the Endermite. All right, there we have him. Can't touch this. And the minecart, and we have to just push it a little bit towards him. Come on. There we go. Right now he is settled. We're going to place one block right there so I'll be able to put my slab down a little bit easier and now we're gonna break every single wall so the endermen are gonna see this guy and they're gonna go crazy look at that this guy is getting triggered and right after that he is walking towards this trap can't touch this voila so once again the endermen are getting triggered and they are getting forwarded to our main trap so now we need just two more and then we should be set. So this guy is getting triggered and getting forwarded as well. Break this thing. Give him a name quickly. Can't touch this. Bam. Get the hell away from this place because I actually have thorns on my armor and I really don't want to kill him. So now you guys are probably pretty curious how efficient this one actually works. So uh, let's have a look downstairs and kill some Enderman. So as you can see, I am currently level 6, so we will be able to see how much XP we actually get from being in the end for only a couple seconds. What I definitely recommend you guys to equip when killing these Endermen is a weapon with looting and also sweeping edge 3, because this allows you to kill every single one of them in only one hit. So uh, you will also get your hands on more Ender Pearls with the looting 3, which is great stuff. So guys, are you ready? Here we go. So, um... As you can see, we're just taking down all the Endermen with only one slash of the sword. And yes, you can tell that um, we get many, many Ender Pearls inside these chests. I actually upgraded it a little bit because otherwise these things are filled up in no time. And uh, they just keep falling down. It goes so fast and efficient. So here we go. One more slash and another one. Look at that. Already level 17. And I even got my hands on an Ender Hat, which is great stuff. So yes, if you're playing with that vanilla tweak, you will be able to find many of them, which you can give to your friends. And there we have it, guys. Level 30. So this literally took us only a couple minutes. So you can definitely tell that this is a very efficient Enderman XP farm for both experience and Ender Pearls. All right. So guys, that is pretty much everything you need to know in order to build one of these XP farms on your very own survival world.
it would be very much appreciated if you can just hit that like button for a second. It actually helps me out a lot. Already, big thanks. I also already made a couple of XP farms for zombies, skeletons, spiders, etc. So if you're looking for those, definitely make sure to check out my Minecraft how-to playlist. This one is in the description. Guys, if you have suggestions for future videos, just leave them in the comments down below. You can always reach out to me on Discord as well. I actually have a Discord server with over 1,500 members. So guys, definitely make sure to check it out. Right now, it is 4am out. Big thanks for watching once more. I'll see you guys very soon. So take care. Peace.